I sell myself as a, a an asset because the minute they say start saying, "Oh, we don't have a budget," I'm like, "Okay, well then I'm out of here." You're not buying how easy it is for me to. You're buying what I'm, what we're bringing, like experience, yeah. uh, the vision. You're like the minute they start talking about it, like it's an easy shot. I'm like, "Well, then I'm not your guy," mm -hmm. and I'm happy to walk away from that meeting because I'm like, if you're saying you have two hundred and fifty dollars for a shoot. You need to call Parsons and get like a exactly. first year student to come exactly. in and, and uh, you know, just get the exposure or something. I'm, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not putting down the student. I'm like, right. here's a chance to get some exposure. These, these are terrible people and you should learn from this. <laughs> you know. No, but I'm saying it's like, you, you have to start at the right end. It's like, you're not hiring me to come in and do an easy thing. I make it look easy, but. Right. I'm doing that because well, I know what the pitfalls are of this. And you, you need know. to be paid for. And I, I, if I don't get paid, and if I don't get anything out of it, I, I'm simply not interested. I, it's, right. it's a waste of your time and my time. Mm -hmm. um, so and actually, it's funny because a, a lot of new media companies yes. are offended when you speak to them like that. They're like, "Oh, but we have an intern here who." And I was like, "Okay, okay well, what? Yes. Yeah, have the intern do it, you know." Well, I mean, I had, a, I had a corporate client that... Well, I'm male photographers, too, because sometimes you feel like it's just... Because I get those requests right. sometimes, and sometimes you feel like it's just women, that you're just right. so devalued. Right. Um, so Work in general, unfortunately, is devalued. Right. And I, I, I mm -hmm. can tell you that from mm -hmm. coming from a large stock inventory where people used to pay hundreds of dollars, mm -hmm. and it's like penny stock now. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get my, my statement and I go, really? A dollar. Yeah. And they're like, this is what they sell for now. And I'm like, well, yeah. why am I selling that? I yeah. I'm with a, an agency too. I was with Corpus and, mm -hmm. and now with Zuma. And it's, it's absurd, actually. Yeah. And yeah. it's the same thing. Like it started at one price and then it just went down, down, down. So. But, I, but I think to come, come back to the Instagram, um, I, I think it's a be active. I mean, don't, you know. My niece posts five times a day, but she works for a social media company in London. But it's like over, I mean, it's like, it's, it's exhausting. Mm -hmm. That's too much. Yeah. But it's like, I, I can literally go four or five days or even a whole week because if I don't have anything meaningful to post, I don't want to post anything. Yeah. However, I will tell you a little trick I learned from my niece. She said, very few people remember what you posted two years ago. So post it again. Repost yeah, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, there's going to be plenty of people who never saw that picture who will go, holy fuck, that's a nice yeah. shot. You know? Recycle it. And recycle it. it. There's nothing wrong with it. And you know what? Once in a while I repost mm -hmm. portfolio pieces or whole stories because I, I'm still proud of the work and I, or, or something came up. Like I, I actually was, uh, I worked, I lived or worked next door to Bill Cunningham for many years in Carnegie Hall. And we became, I, I'm not going to say good friends, because I actually think Bill had like three friends in life. But yeah. I, I, we were very close as, as we, we saw each other a lot. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of photography of him, and he hated being photographed. Mm -hmm. But if you knew him somewhat, he would let you sort of sneak a photograph here and there. Mm -hmm. But on his birthday the other day, I posted something. Oh. And all these people came out of the woodwork, like, oh my God, I, you know. So it's like, I'm not looking to capitalize on him, mm -hmm. but people are genuinely like, oh my god, I love seeing these pictures of him because he was such a force and, you know. As a private person. Even right. He was out in public. Right, 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 right. Public But it was, uh, so it's fashion. like, yeah, rehash because <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. it, it it's like... Um, I agree, yeah. And I actually have <laughs> tons of stuff that I just, photo like I literally will photograph just little stuff here and there when I walk down the street mm -hmm. and then two years later I go through my my catalogs and I go oh wow what's that <laughs> and I've never like I've completely forgotten about it but I remember the moment when I took it and I'll go oh, okay you know you know what here's a good shot for Instagram